716 on this Thursday morning. It is never easy to be a teenager. Kelly Filardo, the author, the co-author of A Thousand Tips for Teenagers, a brand new book just out. Congratulations, first of all, on the book. Thank you. Uh, Kelly, I suppose that your personal experience probably played a large role in you wanting to put this book together. Uh, tell us, uh, as a child, what happened to you that would forever change your life? Well, when I was two years old, we lived on an acreage at the time, and we were burning garbage, and my cousins were throwing shingles in the fire, and a spark came out and landed on my dress. And I ended up with burns to 75% of my body. So as a so. two-year-old girl, as a two -year -old, uh, like this big. In, in a sense, uh, one <laughs> aspect of your life already determined this issue that you will be dealing so. with, uh, this health-related issue, but it also impacted you emotionally and, and mentally, I would understand. Well, absolutely. My whole life, I struggled with, you know, self-esteem and inner beauty, and, you know, I always um, had these issues where I always wanted to be loved and I wanted to be accepted, and I, I didn't want to be treated any different than anybody else. But because of my scars, I was labeled as the ugly Scarface girl as a teenager. Right? I, you know, even in grade five, I was. And now, how did that start to impact you as you entered your your teenage years and then the young adult years? I mean. It's enough of a challenge to be a teenager exactly. and navigate these waters, but when you're hearing those types of hurtful comments, it's got to make it a hundred times worse. Well, it is because, you know, I was constantly rejected and I just wanted to be loved and I just wanted, you know, some boy to like me and say, you know, you are beautiful no matter what. But they were too scared to like me because I was the ugly Scarface girl. Okay, so, so hang on though, because now you're a motivational speaker, you're an author, oh. you're a mother of beautiful children that are here in our studio right now yeah. watching this interview so what happened in between all of this to allow you to be at the point where you are now well you know, my parents and my family never stopped me no matter what I wanted to do if I wanted to join the cheerleading squad I did if I wanted to ride horses I did whatever it was I wanted I was told to do I was never treated any different by my family now I understand so. one of your one of your daughters is entering the teenage years Yes, she just turned 13. So, I mean, do you, uh, does it change your perspective uh, once your own children hit that age? I mean, do you, do you all of a sudden go, oh my gosh, I've got to equip them? Or has that been something that ever since they were born you've been aware of? No, I mean, obviously I was, you know, every year we think, oh my gosh, it's going to be so tough to get our teens through these years. And even back in June, I got to speak to 150 teenagers, grade 7 girls. And one of the, the things that I do is I allow people to text me their questions because this gives them a safe place to be able to answer the question. And so I was looking at my, my phone while I was speaking and I got a hundred text messages within one hour. From the students that you were addressing? From the students that I was speaking to and five of those questions were about suicide. Wow. And I was like, oh my gosh, is my daughter contemplating suicide because she just turned 13. And that was the last thing I ever wanted was to see my daughter commit suicide or have those thoughts and so um, that became my why in my life that's what make me wake up every morning is I don't ever want to see a teenager whether it's my family or you know my friends family or whoever commit suicide because I didn't help them mm. and that's what gets me up every morning and and does what I make me do what I do so you approached 120 people and asked each <clears throat> of them to give you 10 tips yeah for teenagers and the end result is this book. What are some of the tips? There must be some common <clears throat> themes. Well, a lot of them is, you know, about following your passion in life. You know, people are saying, don't do what you hate, do what you love. And if you want to be, um, you know, a happy, productive teenager, you need to do that stuff that you love in your life, not the stuff that you hate. Um, my number one tip is that self-esteem doesn't come in a bottle. I don't care what anybody says. There's no amount of makeup that you can put on me that's going to make me feel wow about myself. Mm. It's not the makeup that's going to do it. Uh, you know, other tips were like my co-author, Martin Pressey, you know, one of his tips is that you need to tell yourself hundreds of times a day how great you are. And you need to focus on the positive that's going on in your life, not the negative. We're so focused on, you know, this anti-bullying thing. And, and my thoughts are that teenagers are tuning out. Mm. You know, it's being overdone. They're, they're not tuning in on the, the anti-bullying thing. And so what I love about this book, it's all about empowerment. 
it's all about empowering teens and other people to, to feel great. And it's the type of book that has great value for teenagers, but it also has great value for parents. We want to let you know that this book is now available. We've got all of the links posted on our website under the Inside BT link, including Kelly's website, 1000tipsforteenagers.com, and you can follow them on Twitter at 1000 tips for teenagers. Kelly, if people want to find the book, where will they find it? Right at our website, 1000tipsforteenagers.com. It just hit number one in the hot new bestsellers started yesterday, so we're pretty ecstatic about that because, you know, we, we knew we had a great thing going, but we didn't know that it was that great. So. You're an amazing lady. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us today. Thank it's an absolute pleasure to meet you and speak with you, and congratulations on this book. Hugely important stuff. Yes, and Christmas is an excellent time to get it. No kidding. Kelly Filardo, <laughs> there you have it, a local author making great strides as we equip the leaders of tomorrow to have confidence in themselves. It's 721 Breakfast Television back right after this.